Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 159. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Class S Super Lap Days. We're going to be taking the Lamborghini Miura again, and we're going to Rally di Positano. I had to Google Translate it, and I now know exactly how you say this track name, so I can do it properly. Uh, and then we got for Jimmy Kaido and Nurburgring Nordschleife. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Mm, legacy. Oh, there's a Bugatti Veyron. Uh oh. Uh, that's going to be a slight problem because the Bugatti Veyron is overpowered as fuck, man. Sorry, I need to get my elbows out for this one. Why am I always fighting gravity? Nobody's noticed the fact that I've put it in Comic Sans. <laughs> the font is Comic Sans. And it's going to be a permanent fixture now. I think FH6, A, FH6 has to have an extra year of development. It needs to have three plus years, because they need to go back to the drawing board with that game, first of all. And second of all, um, they need to look into, oh my god, they need to make, um, this is going to be the last Horizon game if it doesn't go well. There's no way in hell they can do it. They need a new engine. Like, they need a new game engine in the background. They need new assets. And they're going to have to do it in Tokyo. They have no other option. Because the community wants Tokyo. They've been wanting it for ages. They want somewhere like Tokyo. That they can do what they want. There's the mountains in Tokyo. There's all these open areas. People aren't too fussed about the off-road stuff in Forza. But obviously Tokyo has open, expansive forests that you can make a jungle out of quite easily and have off-road races. It's not that difficult for them to do. But they need to do that and prove that they are, like... The problem with Horizon 5 is the fact the map is empty. There's nothing to the map other than the one city. But you can't have one city and say, oh yeah, this that's our map. That's not how it works. Okay, the Bugatti slowed down, but now it's the saline that's behind me. Oh yeah, there'd be no way you could do the whole of Japan. Even the crew isn't as big as the whole of Japan. Like, it wouldn't be one-to-one. -one. You might be able to get different areas, though. You might be able to get a Tokyo. Or... Uh, the problem is, when it comes to cities, you can't actually drive down a lot of the streets, so... Um, yeah, Tokyo and, like, cities are mostly, like, fully pedestrianised. So... But there are sections of Japanese cities that are pretty good. 
And again, if Horizon was to go there, they close off a lot of the roads anyways by technicality. Because it's a festival. You think a lot of the villages that Horizon goes through is heavily pedestrianised, but they're not. They're inspired by heavily pedestrianised places, but... So I, th I think it's doable. But they just actually have to do it. If that makes sense. I need someone... I think after this race I'm going to go uh, grab myself some lunch because I'm actually hungry. My stomach is hungry. It wants food. Oh my... Fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't expect that last jump to be so big. So it threw me off for the other two corners. The thing went flying. such a classic. I remember like this song just vibing to this as a kid. Such a classic. Alright, here we go. I'm cracking on. We've got another 12 hours to go. Woohoo! We've got the Lamborghini. I, I think uh, this race is going to be a stinker. Oh, that's not ideal. Yeah, I just, I didn't enjoy Siege after a while. It just wasn't the same game. Oh shit, shit, shit. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I know I'm such a toxic driver in this, but this car is A, uncontrollable, and B, I'm against the Bugatti Veyron, so I'm getting the elbows out for this one, and I'm allowed to. Is that Veyron driver Latifi? It's Nicholas Latifi. It's the GOAT. Gotifi, yes. Gotifi is the Lord. Oh, I love this song. Do you know, uh, five years ago, almost five years ago now, they shut down Guitar Hero Live service. Almost five years ago. And I used to play this song a lot on Guitar Hero Live, and I miss Guitar Hero Live big time. Move. 
Alpon is doing really well this year. Um, I've seen uh, Yuki Tsunoda is apparently doing quite well. Um, even though uh, Al Alpha Tauri have such a terrible car. Nick DeVries is doing terribly. And Alonso... Like, I get that Aston Martin's car is beast mode this year. But Alonso... Like, Jesus Christ, that car is quick. Yeah, Lan Lance Stroll, like, now that Alonso's there, you can tell Lance Stroll is terrible. He's a rubbish driver and he needs to go. To be fair, I was never really a Fernando fan. Um, because I preferred Sebastian Vettel. I was very much more a fan of Sebastian Vettel. Now that Alonso is sort of the only older driver left, other than Hamilton, I'm, I'm very happy that Alonso's here. And that he's... It. Honestly, Al Alonso's probably my favourite driver. I'm a bit of a Fernando fan now. Lance needs to sort his pace consistency out. He's either next to Alonso or Alonso or out in Q1. Yeah, exactly. He just he doesn't have that consistency, unfortunately. And as a Formula One driver, you need to have consistency. I I will give Lance credit. He is very good in the wet. He is a really good wet driver. Like Max Verstappen, terrible in the wet. Every single time he's driven in the wet, it, it, he's not good. So, Hamilton is sort of an all-round driver. He's very good in both. Um, but Lance Stroll, all of the races that he's had that's wet, he's done a very good job in. Also, I've got no clue what happened to Perez, to be fair. Um, Perez has had a bit of a sinker. But I think as well, Perez has realised that Red Bull isn't a team player. Red Bull isn't about the team. Red Bull is just about Max Verstappen. And I be if I'm not mistaken, I believe um, Brazil last year proved that. When Max Verstappen... Um, when Perez was like... Because uh, Red Bull said... I, th I think it was... They said to Perez, Verstappen is faster... Give him a shot to catch the position. Perez was like, we're equal speed. And then the team sort of said, let Max pass. Max went past, couldn't hold the pace. Perez was catching up to him. So they told Max to give the position back because he didn't obviously catch up. They've proven that that was a bad move. And Max was like, no, I'm keeping. I shall keep position. I hate Perez. He's a dick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't blame him. Like, he's... I wouldn't be enjoying it then. Oh, if, if Alonso swapped with Checo. Hmm. I literally haven't actually watched a full race this year, either. I've just watched what's on YouTube. Like, I refuse to pay the £40 a month that Sky Sports have. And I can't be asked to spend two hours of my day watching Channel 4 highlights. So, I just watch whatever's on YouTube now. And, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Like, I'm still, I'm struggling to get over what happened in 2021. Because I think the rules were completely skewed. Like, I couldn't care if Max won. I couldn't care if Lewis won. And to be fair, Max won a championship last year fair and square. Like, 100%. I, I think he is a really good driver. Same with Lewis Hamilton. But I just think the way that the FIA went around 2021, it was just an absolute shit show. Like, it tarnished the sport for... It's going to for quite some time. Have you heard that um, 
Felipe Massa is trying to get um, the 2000, I think it's 2008 World Championship reverse. So that, um, what's it called? It gets reversed so that he wins the championship because he believes that it was falsified because of uh, the Crashgate scandal. But he's obviously been trying for ages to do it. But the thing is, right, my, my reasoning behind this is the fact that if the FIA turn around and say, oh yeah, Crashgate was a falsified race and it, it meant that Hamilton had an advantage that year, right? We're going to give you the championship and take Hamilton's championship away. Hamilton wasn't at fault for Crashgate. He had no involvement with Crashgate. So, Hamilton's been screwed over for no reason. So, if that's the case, then they need to do the same thing with Max. To be fair. Because even though 2021 wasn't his fault, that wasn't fair either. And they would have to do the same thing. I I can't see the FIA turning around and saying, here Felipe, have this championship win from 15 years ago. When... Because they would have to do the same with Max. Otherwise, the internet would be in an uproar. And I can tell... Because... It would, it would just prove everything that the whole sport is just about money and that they don't give two hoots about the fans. All right, so I don't think this is going to work well. So I'm going to record this one. I'm going to record this race, but I think this baguette is going to absolutely wipe my ass with it. Okay, maybe not. Okay, this is now where the arse wiping happens. Forever alone. Yeah, he can't turn. That's the first shot. As much as I am happy that Fred V and Graphics are making their own music. Yeah, this... Well, it's upgraded. I think it's been upgraded... It was quite fast on its own, though, to be fair, but, yeah, it's upgraded quite a lot. But, yeah, while, while I'm happy that Fred V and Graphics are making their own music now, and they're, as individuals, they make some really good music. Fred V makes some really good drum and bass. Graphics makes some really good drum and bass. Like, they're two of my favourite artists, but I just, I just miss that era where they were together, making music together. I, I would love, in a couple of years' time, if they could go and make a collaboration album again, like they used to in the old days, just make another collaboration. Even if they're not that duo anymore, and they don't have to do every song together, but to be able to have a collaboration album with like 15 songs, they have a couple of songs of their own, and then songs that they've done together. That would be awesome. That would be awesome to see them do that again. Damn, this thing's so fucking quick. Love the Nord Striver all the time on AC. Yeah, the Nord Striver is. I've got a very much love hate relationship with it. it... I was going to say it's a little bit like Marmite, but I'm on both sides. 
Like, I love the track. It's phenomenal. It's a spectacle. It's whatnot. But it's such a poor lake to drive. Like, it's challenging. There's parts of me that hate it because it's so difficult and it's such a challenge. And I, I struggle with it every time. I struggle with this track because it is such a challenge. But at the same time, I quite enjoy that. And I think it's a beautiful track. It's one of a kind. It's awesome. It's very much a mixed bag for me. That's why it's not one of my favourite tracks. But it is a spectacle nonetheless. And i got to give, give it credit. It is a good track. I'd love to go here in real life one day. Because this is one of the few tracks that you can just sort of turn up and drive. Because it is a public road at the end of the day. James May disagrees. Uh, I watched a compilation video on YouTube of every time James May just absolutely shits on the Nurburgring. Well, this car's got the Nurburgring pack, which means they've ruined the car. The suspension is stiff. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny to hear him just whine about this track. I put it in the wall on the track there. Yeah, I probably would as well. That's why I'd be terrified to take a car there. But to be fair, when I've got an actual steering wheel and I'm controlling the car, I feel like I've got a lot better control over a vehicle than... Like, when I'm playing sim racing around the Nordschleifer, I'm a million times better around it. I think it's just the fact that controller, it just doesn't work that well. I love how good... This music is so good. I love Tidal for the sole reason that the music quality is so much higher. This is on my, like, this would be, if I had a lo-fi playlist, this would be on it. It is so good. The quality is unreal compared to Spotify. I'm very much into my music, my tech, and my cars, and my video games, but that could come under tech. So, anything that ex interests me in that, I'll go for it. And I mean, music, I like the best quality audio that I can get. Obviously for my price range, hence why I've got Sony. Everything in mine is Sony now, because it's the best bang for the buck. Like, these headphones are Sony, uh, the speaker is Sony, and I was going to buy Sony earbuds, but I got a phone and it came free with Samsung earbuds, so I'm sticking with them for now, until they stop working, and then I'm getting Sony earbuds. Sony is one of the a really good brand. But then again, Sony's been in the hardware space for tech for quite some time now. I mean, they made the original Walkman, didn't they? They've been making music-related products for like 35, 40 years, at least. But the quality of their stuff for the price is phenomenal. Like, it's night and day. You the thing is, their cheaper stuff that they sell, they sell headphones for like 20 quid as well. But those 20 quid headphones are so much better quality than a lot of other 20 pound headphones. These were 150 quid, but they sound like a 200 pound pair of headphones. Yeah, I could have gone for a Bose that would have cost me 250. It might have been a little bit better, but it cost me a lot more money. And it's not. It's the best one. And to be fair, I think these are a little bit better than those. Discord somewhere. Is that the one where they have the CDs? 
for it. Like the Walkman, but with CDs instead. I think I've seen one of those before. That looks so cool, though. I can't believe they made those. Like, CDs aren't even small things. They're, like, that big. What were you supposed to use it for? Yeah, £700 for Apple AirPods Pro. These are sound better than Apple, Apple AirPods. And these have noise cancelling. But they don't work when you're wearing a hat. So, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.